Hey there, powerful parents. Happy October. Christian Ares here from ABK, and the powerful word of the month for October 2020 is responsibility. And as we move into the final quarter of the year, we want to make sure we help our children become the most responsible people that they can be, right? Responsible people respond when they see a need or they are given a job and they get things done. Uh, more specifically, they create responsible habits from being on time to returning items that they have borrowed to prioritizing and doing first things first. They also initiate responsible actions whether everyone is looking or nobody's watching at all. And they demonstrate responsible choices even when others have chosen a different path. Um, they do this online and they do this offline and they do this all the time. We, we say that they are rad because they are reliable, accountable, and they are dependable. And children and teens must learn to be responsible in a variety of ways as they develop and they grow. From household contributions to doing homework in a timely manner, children's actions are the training ground for how they behave as adults. And as this is 2020 and we are still right in the middle of a pandemic, responsible online actions must be discussed now more than ever. Kids are online so much of the time right now that they need to know how to handle this tool properly. And thankfully, a research center surveyed uh, parents of kids between the, between the age of 13 and 17 finds that many parents today take a wide range of actions to encourage their child to use technology in an appropriate and a responsible manner. And this is vital as Sue Chef, author of Shame Nation, warns recently on the podcast, how to talk to your kids about anything. She says that every move you make on the internet is your way of saying, this is my character. It is a reflection of who I am offline and teaching responsible, kind practices online and offline are paramount to today's youth and are part of raising and teaching responsible young people. And recent research also suggests that parents are doing far too much for their children, keeping young people from learning how to best take responsibility for themselves. And based on, a, on 40 years of survey data, one study out of San Diego State University shows that compared to adolescents from 70s, 80s, and from 90s, today's teens are taking a longer time to adopt the responsibilities of adulthood and while they are putting off risky behaviors from drinking to sex they are delaying commitments to jobs learning to drive dating and other displays of independence and it's important for parents to teach their children life skills that help them to become more independent while also stepping back so their children step forward towards that independence so let's encourage our families to take a look at our responsibilities over the next month. What are we able to take on and what, are, and what areas might we also be able to let go at this time? So how have our responsibilities changed during this pandemic? What truly matters to us? Speak out loud about your thoughts and share how we, how we are processing our responsibilities with your children. What, what we do and what we say, especially during troubled times, our, our kids and our students are always watching. So we wanna ensure that we are being good examples all the time. Thank you so much for, for being a part of our powerful family. We are thrilled to have you as a part of our lives and here's to wishing you a powerful month and a very happy and safe October.